did you do that? How did you do that? So today, May 6th, we uh, decided to just get rid of some stuff. Uh, the living room is always a mess. Uh, my youngest is always leaving his toys around. So he's getting older. There are toys he doesn't even play with. So my husband decided to, uh, you know, start piling them up. And then we are going to give them away. Um, there were too many toys and the uh, living room is always a mess and uh, he doesn't play with some of them. So we were just going to start cleaning up and get rid of them. And then um, we, uh, I think on Monday, it was supposed, it's supposed to be a teacher appreciation day. So um, they sent a list of all the teachers and staff at, um, at the school. And I decided to make the kids write the letters for, uh, to each one of their teachers. So I, we were sitting around, and um, I make them write the letters. So they need to practice in their writing anyway. So, um, yeah, I make them write it, um, and, uh, yeah, that's all we did on that day. Later, I want you to focus on her, like Miss Cruz. Well, he, he said he, he wants to. What is that? I can read. Uh -huh. Amelia. Amelia. Bedelia. Bedelia. Okay, who's the author? Um, by Hermes. Okay. Hermes. What is that? H E R is? Her. Uh huh. M A. Uh huh. Parish. Parish, okay. And when they say picture by, what do they mean? It means who, who wrote the pictures or who wrote... Do they, who, do they write pictures? No. What do they do? They, wrote, they write... They the, draw. They draw the letters. What? They draw the pictures. They draw the pictures, okay. And when they say by, what do they mean by by? By Herman Parrish. Is who? Is the author. Author. And what does the author do? The author writes the words. The words, okay? The author writes the book, okay? Uh. Okay, today is Monday, May 7th. It's about 8 o'clock. Um, I was ready to go to the gym a while ago, but I decided to wait until the kids got on the bus before I leave. So I wanted to do a quick checkup of what sometimes it's good to say what you're gonna do before you actually do it and then you get to see what you actually did. So um, today I'm planning on doing um, chest and back and like I said we shall see what, uh, what I do. I took my camera with me but I'm not sure if I'm gonna record that much. Then again, sometimes on Mondays, uh, the workout people don't show up because they either uh, 
have that long weekend or something like that but we shall see if the opportunity comes i'll record as much as i can and uh, my main focus will be chess and i'll do as much uh, i'll record as much as i can and uh, i have a feeling i'm gonna do full body but i'm gonna start with chess first so we shall see see you in a few today is may 7 2018 and it's 11:20. I just got back from the uh, not park, from the gym. I had a really good workout. I'm eating some tangerine that I peeled before I went to the gym. But I'm not in the mood for it. Um, I'm out of breath. I'm not in the mood for or, um, the tangerine because I drank two orange juices in the gym. I was too lazy to make the quinoa before I left. That's I think that's what I'm gonna eat. Quinoa. Um, <clears throat> I have rice already. I made rice this morning for the kids. Um, I could eat that, but I'm trying not to because while I was at the gym, my lower abdominal I saw sort of a little pouch. What happened is that I ate pizza Friday. I ate the leftover Saturday and then yesterday um, for some reason there there was some dough uh, left in the fridge I decided and I had all the ingredients I decided to make pizza for myself and I have leftover from yesterday's pizza that I made but looking at it looking at it I think I want it but that little pouch that I saw while I was at the gym, I'm not gonna eat it. Um, so, um, I'm gonna make some quinoa. I have some leftover uh, uh, beans. Maybe I'll have it with it. But, in terms of my workout today, it went extremely well. Very well. I even had more energy to do some more, actually. It's because it was getting late. I wanna come back here to do some, um, to edit some videos because all last week what I was doing was fixing um, some of the videos that uh, I made a mistake with the date in terms of the year. The ones that were not uh, um, public, publicized or public did not go live yet. Uh, I took them out, I delete them, and then f uh, sort of fix the date, at least the ones that I could see, um, fix the date. It's mostly the year. The year, uh, what was it? I Instead of 2018, I put 2108. Um, so I had to fix that. Um, I couldn't leave it because it's so minor, but it bothers me. I couldn't sleep for some reason because of that. So the ones that were already live, I just left them as is. Because I think they only appear uh, at the beginning when I'm showing the date or something. But the others, for some reason, I stretch it throughout the video. So it, it was just annoying. I, I had to take them out, fix it, and then um, put it back up again. So um, I haven't, I've been recording, but I have not edited the ones... Uh, the new recordings because I was so busy like I said fixing all the other videos so I'm backed up I have all last week whatever it is that I uh, recorded I had things about my kids I took the kids to the park we had a wonderful day I took pictures and videos of the things that I plan on uh, the exercise things I, I plan on doing with the kids um, and then on Saturday morning the weather was so beautiful. I got up really early, like 5.30. Okay, so it's about 6.42 a.m. Just, I got up a while ago. I was laying down in bed. I know I wanted to go out for a walk. I even had asked my youngest if he wants to go. He had said yes last night. And then this morning when he saw me getting ready, he came to ask me something. And I said, do you want to go with me? He didn't even answer. He went back to bed. <laughs> so I'm going to take a little walk. Um, I may not record anything, but if uh, I have something in mind I want to speak, uh, talk about, I'll pull the camera and start talking. But I just like the feel before the sun comes, really bright and stuff like that, uh, to walk in the park. So I'm going to go now. Let me ask my son if he wants to go with me one more time. Um... 
walk. You want to come with me? Yeah. To the park. Okay, it's fine. You could stay. Relax. That's my answer. So let me get going. And took a walk uh, to that same park by myself. I've put stuff. Uh, I've posted some of the stuff that I while I was at the park on Instagram. The birds and uh, it was just beautiful. I don't know which. Uh, yeah, this is probably gonna be on my family channel or my uh, adventure channel because it's more outdoors. Um, so uh, yeah, and I could show you some of the clips here and there. But well, if you're interested in these things, you could. I think I put all of my uh, YouTube channels on the des description box. You could check them out. Um, so in terms of my workout today, when I got to the gym, um, I didn't even do major stretchings like my abdominals, my back, those things that I sometimes do. So what I did is just some minor move, um, stretch um, for my legs. And I wanted to start doing chest, and for some reason the gym was packed, really packed. <laughs> Monday morning, I was surprised. It's usually uh, around this time. There's usually a lot of people, but not that packed. So all the benches for uh, from um, around the dumbbells were taken. So I was like, you know what? I look over. I was gonna do leg press, and this guy just sat there. I mean, he was doing his thing, but his breaks were very long and he was on his phone too but the squat machine was available so i did some stuff with the squat and i did it the same manner i believe i recorded one of my workout last week so i did it the same way And then I did the seated calf raises, I did the rotation. And by the time I finished with these two uh, exercises, I wanted to do the leg press, but the guy was still sitting there. So I went and did um, leg extension, um, the same way that I sort of uh, did it last week. And then as soon as I finished with that, I did hamstring curls. And then I, after the hamstring curls, I did the seated uh, calf raises again. Um, the long way where my leg is like that. So I did that. And um, by that time, um, I looked back uh, for the leg press. 
someone took it. So I said, you know what, let me do the band exercise. So I, there were a lot of people. I didn't record all of the, my leg exercises. Then um, I pick a spot in the gym that uh, there weren't a lot of people there. I started doing my band exercises. Um, I switch it slightly. Um, I may have recorded one last week with the pink band and I uh, when I started doing um, the leg the band exercise with my leg um, I did the first somewhat set or a couple moves on the band and I realized I was like you know because this is new I knew uh, um, I have some issues with my inner thighs and my outer thighs that uh, uh gave me some uh, problem with the band um last week and which prompted me to do the abductors and the adductors machine which i did that too actually after i did the the leg extension um i did the abductors and the adductor that then i went to do the band exercise so when i started doing the band exercise i did not record then i was like you know what i really want to uh, keep track of that. I want to see how I'm doing um, with the uh, with my stability with the way that I'm doing it now. So even though there were a lot of people, I was, I didn't care. I said, you know what? Let, I need to record that because the first moves that I was doing, I was not able to stand. Uh, I was pretty much out of control. I could not stand. My balance were off completely. When I go forward, the same issues as last week. When I go forward. Let me point this slightly down for you guys so you see what I'm talking about. Okay, let's see. When there's a way I do the bend, I, uh, I put it at my ankle at, at one time and then I put it above my knees um, the next time. And I was doing some movement like this. And then when the bend is uh, above my knees, I do this. I have a recording. I did record. As I went along, I record. I started recording. And when the band is on my ankle, I go keep my leg straight, and then I'm I still didn't put the let's put it down some more. All right, when the band is on my ankle, like right here, I go like this, you know. And on one leg, I try not to hold on to anything to go like this. So I'm able to do that fine when I go forward and when I go backward, also. But it's when I'm going laterally, I could not really balance myself and that's what uh, sort of prompted me last week to you know try to do some uh, abductors and adductors after each uh, my workout sessions so uh, um, I record that just to see how I balance myself or just to keep on improvement uh, recording of those and I did uh, I stood on the blue ball I did my other thing on the platforms the wooden platforms so I recorded that and then when I was done, I still had some energy. I even showed a time when I finished my legs. Um, I think it was like uh, nine something, going to be ten. So I was like, I still have some energy left, so let me go do the, uh, some chess. There were still some people there, but one bench was available. I grabbed it right away and I did some. I did not record after my leg band exercises. I didn't record anything after that. Um, I was like, you know, I was in the mood. There are times I had some opportunity to pull out my camera, but for some reason I was like, let me just continue doing my thing without recording. So I did a couple uh, dumbbell exercise for chest, shoulders, upright wall, uh, and I did, uh, what is it, uh, some wall with the dumbbells, and I did uh, shoulder presses, uh, I did lateral raises, and then when I'm on the bench, I do some stuff for my back, you know, with um, very lightweight and some. I use a 7.5, a uh, 15 pound, and a 40 pound to do different movement for my back. And, and then um, I did a uh, chest fly where my forearm is uh, on the pad. And then I did some cable exercises for my, the two handle lat pull down. I did that and I did some seated wall for my back and then that other machine where um, I sort of use it slightly different uh, it's on it's also roaring you're supposed to sit on it but for some reason I, I don't like I feel like I'm not stable enough 
I, when I sit to do that particular uh, row on that machine, I find myself moving a little bit too much. So I usually put the seat all the way down and I stand on it. My chest is against the pad and I did single arm um, at one position. I, I think I did 10 repetition and then another uh, at neutral. The handle is like that. There's a ball going like this and there's uh, another ball that goes straight and then curve. So first I start where the ball is like that slightly up and I'll do the roll for my back and then the part where it goes up I will use it to do the neutral and I'll do that and then the next set it's that same portion of that ball that curve out and I'll do another uh, pronated grip again but slightly lower so it's two pronated one higher and one lower and then one neutral so I, I did single arm for both uh, arms and then after that once I finished I didn't put heavy weight I put 225 pounds on both sides because I was gonna do a lot of repetition so after I finished did single arms different hand position I did the same thing with both arms standing my chest is against it and uh, on the floor there's a, a, a metal part you know to hold the seat or something like that that goes across so I use it to uh, balance my feet on it and then I'll do uh, both arm at a time and then I'll do the neutral you know the neutral part like this and then the pronated at the lower level I will do that so and then what did I do and then I went back to the seated row to do close grip. Um, there's a way I, I'm doing this now. I really have to go really light and I did a lot of repetitions where I put the, when I roll with the cable, I bring it slightly by my abdominal uh, below my belly button. And then I do another uh, 10 repetition slightly above my belly button. And then I do another uh, 10 rep like up by my chest and then I'll pull my shoulder like this see like this bring it and then to pull it like that I, I went very light on that and then after I did I did two sets for each of these like that different position be, uh, uh, below my belly button above my belly button by my chest and then move the shoulder like this to pull then I put it heavy that's when I sit really upright and then pull and then stretch, pull and then stretch. So after I did that, I still had energy to do some more. I wanted to do cable crossover or, or both um, where I do the reverse fly on the machine. I had energy to do that. Um, I was like, damn it, I have a lot of stuff to do. Once I get home, um, I, I just cut it. So tomorrow I will not be going to the gym. Either I stay home to work on some stuff or after I, uh, after the kids uh, are picked up, I'm probably gonna take a walk to the park. Uh, maybe not, I'm probably gonna leave that for Saturday, but I need to work on some stuff. So that was my workout. I feel like eating some tangerine, but my quinoa is almost done. While I was doing this, it's almost done. Um, so, yeah, my weekend was pretty good. We did a lot of stuff. Uh, well, I did. I That long walk in the park. Wow, I have one day worth of video. We'll probably do two or three different videos because I did record a lot of things. And like I said, I have different... Uh, channels so some of this stuff will be going in different um, channels um, you should check some of those even if you don't subscribe although I would prefer you to subscribe to them uh, but you know it's just different perspective of me um, I try to keep my fitness channel in terms of fitness nutrition and things like that my family channel I keep it as family channel but my fitness sometimes I'll put some of the things that I do with my kids and stuff like that like for instance, <laughs> this morning, um, I was reading with my kids. We, I make it a habit uh, to read with them. And uh, over the weekend, the kids, uh, you know, I usually let them be. But there are times, you know, I have to let get them finish uh, their homework. So 
I don't really push too much. They have to read, they have to read. But I'll squeeze in, without them even knowing, squeeze in some of the work that needs to be done while they're taking a break from playing video game or something. That's the weekend. But during the week, they have to do their stuff. It's a must. They know that's their priority, that's their job. They have to do it. So this morning, for instance, I was reading with my kids, my youngest. So as I started asking him questions, just to see if he's paying attention, he understands what's going on. Because I really don't want him to have the same problem as my oldest, having reading comprehension kind of thing. So um, when I started asking him questions, I know he know it. He didn't really want to read. Uh, so uh, he wanted to play uh, on his phone. So I said, you know what, if you can't answer the questions, you don't have to read, okay? But you can't play with your phone. So I let him go, we, uh, we stopped reading, but he couldn't play video um, with his phone. Because all week, Saturday, I didn't really pressure them to do that much of the schoolwork. And then on Sunday, uh, they had to do, I made them do that because I think Tuesday, tomorrow is gonna be teacher appreciation um, day. So the school sort of want the kids uh, to tell the teachers, uh, I think it's the PTO that's doing that, the parents teachers uh, organization or whatever it is, want the kids to write letters to the teachers or whatever, they could buy a card or something like that and to let the teachers know uh, how much they mean to them. So they give the list of all the teachers in the school. Um, I asked them, both of them, I ask them which one are their teachers. Um, I make them do letters. For all, I, it, both of them had six teachers. I guess technology, uh, gym, uh, their homeroom teacher. So both of them had six teachers. So um, I made them do the letters for each one of the teachers. So that was their thing yesterday. Um, my oldest, I wanted to work with him with reading comprehension, but he took forever to write the letters. I worked with him doing the, do, um, to do the letters, and we did it on a scrap paper first. All he had to do was copy them on a clean sheet of paper. This kid dragged that thing for like four hours. So by the time he was done, I was tired. <laughs> I didn't want to be doing work with him anymore, so I just told him to go. Uh, so that was yesterday and then this morning um, it, plus my youngest I had to sit with him and do the letters with him um, I asked him what uh, the teachers do with them what sort of thing they like and things like that so like for instance for art um, he was telling me the teacher t uh, taught him how to uh, do uh, pasting uh, drawing actually I still have the letters here they're not supposed to bring it until tomorrow so I told them to keep it here so let me grab one and read for you so that's uh, my oldest his is written in one of those papers I have to make sure that uh, uh, and then my youngest I mean they put these for all of the kids in the class uh, in the school to write something like that but my oldest is slightly older so he should be able to write on those things. So I made him write it on these, but I made copies of the things that they sent and uh, I made my youngest to write on this because he's still having some, um, you know, he needs to have his letters and sit on the, on the, uh, what is it? On the line. Let me see the one with the art. He was telling me, you teach me math, not that one. Okay, that's the one. Dear Miss Rich, I like your class. You teach me uh, drawing, painting, coloring, pasting, and cutting. You make art fun. Thank you. And he signed it at the bottom. So this was his own word. So it was, except he was saying, the only thing that I changed on his, when he was telling me, he said, you teach me drawing, you teach me painting, you teach me coloring, you teach me painting, uh, pasting, not painting, pasting, you teach me cutting, da da da. So I changed it instead of you teach me every single sentence, I just told him to write, you teach me drawing, painting, coloring, pasting, and cutting. You make art fun. That part was his. So yeah, 
so uh, that's what we work on six for each uh, for both of them but anyway that we're gonna um, I think when I was working with my uh, youngest uh, I had my cell phone with me, so I was recording part of it as we were working along with it. So, anyway, I need to eat, take a shower, and hopefully my mind is there to edit some videos and do some other stuff. So, thanks for watching, and be on the lookout for some of the uh, outdoors videos. Uh, check on my family channel, all right? Thanks. Don't forget to subscribe, okay? So <clears throat> one of the things I'm going to have here, there's the beans and I have some leftover, uh, what's that, spinach. Um, I'm going to have that. I, <laughs> I saw the pizza in the microwave. I took a bite. It really makes me want to eat some more, but um, I think I had enough pizza. It's really good. I'm getting better at my pizza making. And by the way, I leave, I'll leave that for later. Um, yesterday what we did was that, uh, I knew we did something, but I can't remember. We had to clean, uh, some of the kids' toys. There were too many toys, especially my youngest. He just liked to bring, uh, his trains out from his bedroom and then leave them in the living room and you can't even walk. So we decided to clean some of the toys and most of the toys they don't play with. They uh they too old for it and they mostly now wanna play video game. So the toys that they don't play or that's still decent, we gonna give them to Salvation Army. And there are some toys I believe um my husband was gonna give them to Salvation Army, but I think I'm gonna ask the school uh for uh, if they want those toys first before I give them away. So yeah, so that was our day yesterday. So I'm gonna put I had some uh, how do you call this? Jalapeno and, and onions in here. Throw some in here. So that's my post workout. Um, yep, so that's it. Let me take a nice little picture for Instagram. You can't really see the uh, spinach. But it's somewhere down there, which I show you guys um, on uh, before I put all this stuff. Okay, so that's it. I don't know if I'll be recording anymore for my fitness channel, but um, I think I'm done um, for today. Maybe my weight. Alright, somebody's calling me. Alright, gotta go. Don't forget to subscribe.